Septic systems need regular maintenance, just like your car or your home. First of all, know where all the components of your system are located on your property. An as-built or record drawing is a technical diagram of your septic system. Check with your local health department to obtain a copy of your as-built. The record drawing can tell you what type of system you have, where the components are located on your property, and provide other useful information. Record drawings are not always accurate, so make sure you verify it's correct. If you need to have your system located, make sure you also know the location of all utilities. Depending on the type of system, you'll want to know the location of your septic tank, pump tank, sand filter, distribution box, and drain field. Let's talk about what you can do to protect and care for your system on a daily basis. Garbage disposals grind up unprocessed food into fine particles, which can clog components of your system, like pumps or even drain field pipes and soil. Use it sparingly. An alternative is to compost. Make sure you have an outlet baffle screen installed to help protect the drain field. Doing your laundry has a big impact on your septic system as well. Space out your laundry loads to allow your septic tank to settle properly. If water flows too rapidly through the septic tank, solid material will not separate and could move on to more sensitive parts of the system. Limit the use of bleach. Bleach kills the helpful microbes which treat the wastewater. Liquid fabric softener can seriously alter the chemistry within the septic tank, hindering proper treatment. Installing high efficiency washers and toilets can increase your septic system's life and save you money. Do not throw garbage into your toilets or feminine products and wipes of any kind, even those that are flushable. Kitty litter and pet waste of any kind should never go into your septic system. Some cleaning products claim to be safe for septic systems. This may or may not be accurate. Look for cleaning products which use everyday ingredients such as vinegar and baking soda. If you do use strong cleaning products, just use less. Never put paint, thinners, or strong chemicals of any kind down your drains. Many areas have disposal services for dangerous or toxic material. To dispose of unused medicine, bag it up and throw it in the garbage. Check with your local health department or pharmacy to find out whether a drug take-back program is available in your area. Do not drain hot tubs and water softeners into your septic system. There's no need to waste your money on septic additives. Just use your septic system properly. Let's talk about how to protect your drain field. It's critical to protect your drain field and reserve area. The reserve area is a part of the property set aside in the event that the current drain field fails. Protect your drain field from motor vehicle traffic, parked vehicles, heavy loads, and livestock. Don't dig, use heavy fertilizer, or weed killer on your drain field. Also, be sure not to build anything over your drain field. Protect your drain field by diverting surface or roof water runoff away from it. Look for shallow root plants. Contact your local nursery or health department for more information about what's safe to plant over septic systems. This tree was planted in a below grade sand filter. The tree roots completely filled all the pipes in the sand filter and it had to be replaced. Your septic system requires routine maintenance. This includes inspection of all system components, pumping tanks and cleaning filters when needed and making sure repairs are performed. Risers increase accessibility to the system for you or a professional. They can also keep costs lower if a professional needs to service the system. If you do not have risers, you should have them installed. 